This is The Close-Up, conversations about creativity. We, we grow up with the picture being a rectangle, uh, 16 by 9, 4 by 3, uh, but all our life, either camera picture or movies, uh, were just a rectangle. And now suddenly that picture is spheric. It means that it uh, doesn't almost matter which media you use to consume it. Uh, the assumption is that you can go right, you can go left, you can go up, you can go down. You, you just immerse. So that's, that's a big thing because open up uh, all kind of new venue. And first of all, of course, being immersed. You can be in a different environment or place. No one in Hollywood, none of the serious production people, whether they're in the music or sports or anywhere yeah. else, can conceive of taking this much further without a professional grade camera. That's right. That's what you've been working on. So tell us the story. It's called Ozo, and yes. we're going to show some pictures here. Tell us the story of Ozo. Well, Ozo, um, I mean, the story started really two years ago in the labs in Finland uh, at Nokia Technologies. Uh, and, and the inventors really look at a blank sheet of paper saying, OK, we're making a camera for virtual reality. This is not a camera or using cameras that are existing and adapting them for virtual reality. This is a new project. Uh, and we're looking at the best way of doing it uh, professionally with professional grade uh, as a dedicated camera for VR. How many lenses? Uh, eight. And do they capture the complete 360-degree Yeah, in picture? 3D. I think that the area where the industry has to improve dramatically is, is really the ergonomic of wearing this screen. It's not so much the immersive experience, uh, but it's just the, the fundamentals. Easy. Distribution of weight, uh, right. you know, like, like anything. Right. Uh, a chair, if it's uncomfortable, right. After a while, you say, why about that chair? It's right. fantastic design, but it's uncomfortable, right? right. right? right. Uh, and so here it's going to happen exactly the same. The first step is just to make it happen so that you can experience what it is. And then right after, there will be perfecting so that you know, one is more comfortable than another one or more performing, you know, either as a vector of ergonomics uh, or a vector of quality. Is there a whole workforce or a whole community that is going to come out of this that are going to be really thinking VR, not narrative storytelling. Yeah. I, I the think way uh, you know, it, it goes with the, with the level of specialization, right? So you have the fundamentals that need to be in place, uh, either it's DP or cameraman or, you know, and so on. And then you have those specialization of like people that are really good in underwater or people who are very good in, uh, uh, you know, other, other verticals. And one, one of those is going to be people that are very good in VR because the, the rules and the techniques uh, and the tricks <laughs> and how you make it happen is different. It's not always different, uh, but it's different. Are there any cautions? Are there any um, things that you think, if you're talking to the VR community, what do we need to remember to make sure that we get this right? And is it not over-promising to the consumer? Yeah. Or, or what I is think, it? Yeah, I think that what we need really to remember is that the technology is great, right? But if the story that we're telling is boring and not interesting, uh, the technology will not be adapted. As you know, we learned many, many times uh, through the past, uh, is really engaging with the viewer, not as a technological challenge, uh, right. but as a telling the story, creating emotion. Uh, you know, we, o we used to say, I mean, we're still saying, uh, you know, I'll take you to places, or a movie will take you to places. Uh, and so VR can take you to places, but has to be interesting. If Once you're there, something has interesting to, exactly, has to happen. You know, if I'm in the middle of the forest uh, and nothing happened, I can turn around three times, maybe right. 30 seconds. Right. I give you a minute. Right. After a minute, I'm bored. Right. So it's really critical for the VR industry to focus on the technology aspect. Of course, you want resolution and all those elements. Uh, but when you deliver the experience or you want to somebody to try your gear, uh, make sure that you show something that you also feel interesting. The Close-Up is produced by the Advanced Imaging Society in Hollywood and powered by Barco.